Hello, today we are going to be um, using some patterns to help us to divide today. So kind of similar to how we used patterns when we multiplied last chapter, um, this time we're going to use patterns for dividing. Okay, so basically we can use our math facts that you guys already know, and if you don't, you could always make a chart or use a multiplication chart or anything like that to help you, okay? And we're basically going to use these patterns to help us divide by anything that's a multiple of 10. That means a 10 goes into it, okay? So if a 10 goes into it, that means we can use this pattern, kind of like um, last chapter when we multiply. Okay, so here we have our math fact. 24 divided by 3 is 8, or 8 times 3 is 24. Now I'm going to make it a step harder and see if we can start using a pattern, okay, to divide. So we still have 24, but there's a zero here now. So it's 24 divided by 3. It's still 8, right? But since we have a zero here, we have to add a zero to the end. 24 divided by 3 is 8, and add the zero to the end is our answer, okay? So let's do that again. And I'm going to put a box around 24. So you can see what math facts we're doing. 24 divided by 3 is still 8, but there's two zeros, so we add two zeros to our answer, okay? Now to our next line, it's still 24 divided by 3 is 8, but do you see how there's three zeros? So we have three zeros in our answer, okay? So remember, this can be used for anything that's a multiple of 10. If it's not a multiple of 10, this will not work, okay? All right, and here's the pattern. So you just do this simple math fact, and then whatever zeros you have left, you add to the answer. All right, so let's do our first example problem. So first I'm gonna put a box around any of our math facts, or our simple math fact we're gonna work with. 27 divided by three. So 27 divided by 3 is 9, because 9 times 3 is 27. And then I just have one zero left, so I add one zero to the answer just like that, okay? And if you want to check, you can think, okay, does 90 times 3 equal 270? And if it does, you know, okay, I must have gotten the right answer. Okay, this one's going to be a little tougher, and this is the reason why I've done the boxes, just to kind of help you with this part, okay? You might see problems that look like this. So, okay, so we have 32 divided by 4, right? Oh, sorry. I <laughs> okay, number 2 and number 3 are going to be a little bit tougher, but um, remember on number 1, we just did 27 divided by 3 is 9, then we just drop the 0 down. On this next one, you're going to see there's zeros over here too, or a zero. Okay, so we actually have to do something a little different. So, we're still going to do our basic math fact, which is 32 divided by 8, and that's 4. But, since we're dividing, um, I have to cancel out some of the zeros because you're going to divide some of them out. Okay, with multiplication, it was easy. We just counted them all and put them in the answer. You can't do that with division because you're dividing out some of those zeros. So what you're going to do is you're going to match up whatever zeros are on this side. So there's one here, right? We do have one over here, so we're going to cancel those two out, okay? Because we divided out one of those zeros, okay? Then you're left with just one. That will be your answer, okay? So however many zeros you have on this side, you need to cross off over here. Then you can drop them down because we're dividing, okay? I know that's a little bit trickier, so I'm gonna show you one more. Okay, so on this one, we're still gonna do 27 divided by nine, which is three. And remember, you can't just drop down all the zeros because we're dividing now. So we need to divide out some of these zeros from each other, okay? So there's two zeros over here, two zeros over here. So I'm gonna cross off these two they kind of cancel each other out, I guess you could say. And then I don't have any zeros to drop down, so my answer is just three, okay? So let's say you're doing those and you're like, oh, I'm confused, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Remember, you can always check. So 40 times 80 
is 32 plus the two zeros, and that's what we started with. So you'll know, okay, I must have done that one right. Then you can think, okay, I don't know if I did this one right. You do 900 times three, and we should get this. Okay. And that's what we started with. So if you're confused, you can always check two. Okay, but remember the big difference is this zero just drops down because we have nothing to cancel out. On these ones, we have to cancel out zeros because we're dividing now. We're not just multiplying. And we cancel out those zeros with each other, okay? If I had one left, I would drop it down, but I didn't have anything left. Okay, so remember this pattern will work just by using your math facts and it only works if you're dividing by multiples of 10, okay? So as you can see on these, a lot of these were multiples of 10. 10 went into all these numbers. So we were able to use that pattern. Okay, well, good luck.